just surrounding yourself with with people in your own community that aren't exactly looked at as the social in crowd you know working with people who do have struggles going to your local bar setting up a bible study at a bar any anything like that to just somehow get involved with people who are really having struggles is going to help you you know in the long run just overcome those fears i think what have you learned that you're going to take back to missouri with you it's a pretty tough <laughs> <laughs> that's why you came out here right <laughs> you, you came out to learn something to go back with I learned how inadequate I am. I learned how uh, how much I'm gonna miss these people. I learned how beautiful these people really are. I learned that I, I can't ever rely on my own strength. I learned that no matter how much I read my Bible, no matter how much I, I learn techniques of evangelism, no matter how much I improve in my conversational skills, I can't win a single soul. And it is up to God and His Holy Spirit and the, and, the, and the perseverance of the saints and the prayers of the saints, the intercessing that we can do in prayer to the Almighty God to, to, to turn these people around and to help them. What are some specifics that people who see this video can be praying for for the homeless, not just on Skid Row, but the homeless, you know, in the United States or even in the world? I think uh, to defeat addiction, to, uh, to overcome the addiction of dope, crack, um, and, and to, to actually be a part of the answer to those prayers, to be a part of the answer to those prayers by, by living among them and enduring in those struggles with them instead of just being here one night a week and giving a sermon and then leaving. If, if you don't mind, I'd like to share a little story. No, go ahead. Um, there's a man we met named Israel earlier this week. When we met him, he was drunk and he was at the park. Um, and he, he said that he wanted to know Jesus. And, and he and, and it sounded it, we yeah that's awesome whenever we hear that you know wants to know Jesus and we challenged him later that day to say hey come with us you know because we're living out here because we don't have anywhere to go right now we had the opportunity to say to somebody just hey we have an extra room in our tent why don't you sleep in our tent with us you can literally stick by us any all the time and uh, yesterday was the first day that he hadn't drank an alcohol for years. Yeah. And uh, he, he really didn't touch it. And he even shared in uh, evangelizing with us. You know, he was out here on the streets. And when, uh, it, was so, it was so funny, a guy comes up, one of the, one of the dealers comes up, and he, and he holds out his hands and he goes, what is this? Two white boys and a Mexican out here in Skid Row talking about Jesus. What is this? <laughs> And, and, and we all kind of snickered and laughed, and we were like, this is the kingdom of God. There is, no, there is no age, there is no race, there is nothing. What can the church do to specifically help the homeless? There's four missions within a three-block radius from here. Those four missions provide each three meals a day. Meals are great and stuff, but no means saying that we shouldn't feed the homeless, but... I don't think it's any uh, to anybody's surprise that they get they're pretty well fed. I think uh, the church can can do the best by forming relationships, not just by coming down here once, but even coming down here once a week, being consistent, like you would with a friend. You know, if you had a friend, would you just like see him every once in a while? What kind of friend would that be? Or would you consistently see him on an everyday basis, on a weekly basis? And through that, you form a really good bond and loving relationship. You get to know the trials and the struggles that they're enduring. You get to know the true prayers. And you start to unravel the true person that's behind the facade that we've drawn up, you know, over the years of homelessness.